first glorious mystery, the resurrection. The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. Psalm 117, verse 22. Thanks be to God, who hath given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, for now Christ is risen from the dead. And on the first day of the week they came to the sepulchre, and they found the stone rolled back, and going in they found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were astonished in their mind at this, behold, two men stood by them in shining apparel. They said unto them, Why seek you the living with the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57 and 20. Luke 24, verse 1 to 8. O God, who through thine only begotten Son hast conquered death and thrown open to us the gate of everlasting life, help us continually to carry out by our actions the desires that thou hast inspired in our hearts. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Second Glorious Mystery The Ascension God is ascended with jubilee, and the Lord with the sound of trumpet. Sing praises to our God, sing ye, sing praises to our King, sing ye. Thy throne is prepared from of old, thou art from everlasting. Psalm 46, verse 6 to 7, and 92, verse 2. And he led them out as far as Bethania, and he said to them, Stay you in the city till I send the promise of my Father upon you, and you will be endued with power from on high. For John indeed baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the utmost part of the earth. And when he said these things, lifting up his hands, he blessed them, and it came to pass. Whilst he blessed them, he departed from them, and was carried up to heaven, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Luke chapter 24, 49 to 51, and Acts chapter 1, verse 5, and 8 to 9. Only begotten Son of God, who, after conquering death, didst pass from earth to heaven, where, as Son of Man, thou art seated in the great glory of thy throne, receiving the praise of countless angels. Grant that we who delight in the remembrance of thine ascension to the Father may not be tied to the love of this world by the chains of sin, and that the one desire of our hearts may be promised rewards of heaven, where, after thy passion, thou didst ascend in glory. Amen. Third Glorious Mystery The Descent of the Holy Ghost For the Spirit of the Lord hath filled the whole world, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. Wisdom chapter 1 verse 7 I will ask the Father, and he shall give you another paraclete, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, nor knoweth him, but you shall know him, because he shall abide with you, and shall be in you. When the days of the Pentecost were accomplished, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a mighty wind coming, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them parted tongues, as it were a fire, and it sat upon every one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. John 14, verse 16, 17, and Acts 2, verse 1 to 4. O God, who didst instruct the heavens of thy faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, 
and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Fourth Glorious Mystery, The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin, Body and Soul, into Heaven. The Lord hath blessed thee by his power, because by thee he hath brought our enemies to naught. Blessed art thou, O daughter, by the Most High God, above all women upon the earth. Blessed be the Lord, who made heaven and earth, who hath directed thee to the cutting off the head of the prince of our enemies, because he hath so magnified thy name this day, that thy praise shall not depart out of the mouth of men who shall be mindful of the power of the Lord for ever, for that thou hast not spared thy life by reason of the distress and tribulation of thy people, but hast prevented our ruin in the presence of our Lord. Judith 13, verse 22 to 25. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. And the dragon was angry against the woman, and went to make war with the rest of her seed, who keep the commandments of God, and have testimony of Jesus Christ. Apocalypse 12, verse 1 and 17. Almighty and eternal God, who has taken up into heavenly glory the body and soul of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of thy Son, grant that we may be always mindful of heavenly things and come to be worthy of sharing her glory. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Fifth Glorious Mystery The Coronation of the Blessed Virgin, Queen of Heaven and Earth The Queen stands on thy right hand in gilded clothing, surrounded with variety. Psalm 44 Verse 10. I am the Queen of Heaven, and the Mother of Mercy. I am the joy of the just, and the door through which sinners are brought to God. I am the Mother of fair love, and of fear, and of knowledge, and of holy hope. In me is all grace of the way and of the truth. In me is all hope of life and of virtue. Revelations to St. Bridget and Ecclesiasticus 24, verse 24 to 25. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord, to us who take joy in honoring the Blessed Virgin Mary as our Queen, that safe in her protection we may deserve to enjoy present peace and future glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Concluding Prayers Collect of Our Lady of the Rosary O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima most Holy Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary, who hast deigned to come to Fatima to reveal the treasures of graces hidden in the recitation of the Rosary, inspire our hearts with a sincere love of this devotion, so that, by meditating on the mysteries of our redemption recalled therein, we may make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and obtain the conversion of sinners, the conversion of Russia, and peace in the world which we so earnestly seek for the greater glory of God, for thine own honor, and for the good of souls. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. First Saturday Meditation Manual, with a preface by Father Nicholas Bruner. <laughs>